I grew up in Brisbane in the 1940s and it was, it was almost mandatory to have a, a macadamia or a Queensland nut tree and a mango tree in your backyard. So as little boys we would climb the neighbour's fence and uh, maybe steal some macadamias and uh, dry them in the sun and uh, uh, crack them uh, in a hole in concrete uh, and uh, that was when I realised how beautiful they tasted. My background uh, was in food science or, or food technology and uh, I worked for a, a large Australian food manufacturer and uh, I convinced them that macadamias were a nut of the future so they, they sent me to Hawaii to study macadamia technology in Hawaii so I came back to Australia and in 1974-75 built a macadamia processing company that uh, uh, every macadamia tree in, in the world, every one of them originated from Australia's uh, uh, rainforest. And there are really only two, three, or maybe four generations out of the rainforest. And with, with European settlement, uh, not, or, or up to 90% of the wild macadamia trees have been lost. Uh, uh, residential development, uh, uh, fire, uh, farming, uh, have all caused a massive loss of them. The, the Australian government has classified macadamias as, as uh, threatened or vulnerable or uh, endangered. The, the first step when the Macadamia Conservation Trust was uh, formed was to prepare what we call a recovery plan and uh, that recovery plan was adopted by the, uh, by the Australian government and uh, that became our blueprint. For 130 years, there had only been three species of, uh, of macadamias uh, uh, found. And uh, one time in the 1980s, Jan and I heard that uh, macadamias had been found 300 kilometres further north of their natural habitat. And uh, it turned out to be a completely new uh, species. It's called Macadamia jansenii, and it is actually as rare as the Wollamai pine and it's as threatened as the Wollamai pine. We, we had our own macadamia orchard for 33 uh, years and one of our interests was experimenting uh, with uh, selecting uh, new varieties. And we, we planted several uh, hundred uh, little tiny macadamias that would, we were told they were, came from good parents. And out of them came one tree that seemed to be quite outstanding made the decision to gift that uh, uh, variety to the Macadamia Conservation Trust. They, they took out plant breeder rights on it, uh, which means that uh, every tree of, of that variety that is sold, which is called MCT1, uh, attracts a, a royalty. Its royalties are generating significant funds which are enabling more conservation work to be undertaken. We have been looking for initiatives uh, to educate the public uh, about the importance of conserving the wild macadamias and uh, we have created what we call Walk with Wild Macadamias. The, the Walk with Wild Macadamias is in rainforest at uh, Amamore, uh, a little southwest of, uh, of Gympie and in the Noosa uh, hinterland where, where people can walk through a beautiful rainforest and see macadamias growing in their natural environment. The, 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 the history of the macadamia nut has never, never been recorded and uh, so one of my interests has been to uh, uh, write the history of the macadamia nut. It's called the macadamia story. I've, I've, I've been very, very fortunate with my life because I've made my work my hobby and uh, I've been involved with uh, macadamia nuts now for, uh, yeah, for probably for 60 uh, years and uh, they, they, it's been a, a wonderful absorbing uh, vacation and uh, yeah, I've had a ball.